I was always stuck in this one room, glued to the computer, doing my homework, and then things would happen. So where it got to the point to, I was disobeying my mom. It was raining really hard that whole day. And the day before, me and my mom had went out and we jumped out in the puddles. And it was really fun. Me and my mom always bond like that. We jumped in the big old flood puddle that was like in, in our front yard and we thought, okay, it's just a puddle. Let's just jump in it. It was about ankle deep. And we had a lot of fun, but then later on it like got straight into the road. We can't get out of the city. Everybody is flooded out and the Rainbow Bridge is flooded. So we're not allowed to get out because most of the roads are blocked. We said, okay, we're just gonna wait it out. He came out, he looked at it, he was like, go to your room and pray and hope and pray that nothing gets in the house. I'm like, okay. And I come out and the water's about knee deep, not knee deep, but it's like up to our first step, which is about halfway up your shin. So we waited the storm out for a little bit and it got up into our house. And the first room in the floor was my sister's room. That's no longer my sister's room. And then it started coming up through the sinks and my floorboards. Then my dad said, I know you really like your room. Bring everything that you want. Put it up high, put it on your shelf. For two days, we didn't have food until we realized we had MREs from Hurricane Rita. And for the third day, my dad got on the roof. The water's about this high on our porch and it's covering his little car. There's a 2012 Ford Taurus. He's on the roof waving a towel and they don't come. My sister's going crazy on Facebook saying, oh my gosh, we're gonna get the Cajun Navy. They called us about an hour later on my dad's phone and he's, they said, we're not allowed to get through right now. The roads are blocked and our trucks are flooded. I thought they had army trucks. We called 911 and somehow it went to voicemail. Who knew 911 had a voicemail inbox? Before we got on the roof, he told us to get in the water, try to climb up. I got in the water, but I'm like a dog when it comes to swimming. I doggy paddle. And the water was like, the water was so deep, I thought it was just gonna be a walk in the park. It was freezing and it was deep. And I couldn't sleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night screaming because I felt like water was around me. And I'd wake up and I'd feel like I've been in a pool. Or I'd wake up seeing water and then I'd wake up in a different, like no water on the ground. And I would wonder how did all this happen? My roommate that got released uh, about a month ago, he said, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm kind of homesick. He said, don't worry, I got something to cheer you up. He pulls out his drawer, and it's a big drawer of Legos. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you love Legos too. <laughs> and we stayed up that whole night, and Mrs. Crotzer walked in because we were being loud, and she's like, she said, what's wrong? Why aren't you going to sleep? I'm like, I was feeling really homesick, and um, yeah, Landon had let me play with Legos, and we were staying up all night, and she's like, okay, well, don't stay up too long. I'm like, we're gonna stay up all night. She's like, okay, since it's your first day here, I'm gonna let you do this for three more nights, and then you're gonna have to start going to sleep. <laughs> My mom says I'm a natural born leader, and she says, I show a lot of sympathy towards people when they're hurting, 